The chaos in Thailand is confusing to outsiders, but two colours mark either end of the political spectrum. Yellow shirts for those who've been opposing the government for months, delighted now it's been replaced. And their enemies, the red shirts, who are loyal to the ousted Prime Minister Taksin Shinawat and his allies who were in power until recently. And both sides are being accused of intimidation, beatings and even murder to try and leverage their position. Stop, 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 stop. These are the scenes the yellow shirts would rather you didn't see. Three weeks ago at Bangkok's occupied airport, PAD guards drag out a man they think is a red shirt and try and stop us filming the scene as they take him away. Last night they shot, they shot us two times. Get out! But in fact, it was the man they dragged away who was shot. We found him in hospital, still recovering from a gunshot wound to the neck. <laughs> Chaiwat Malila says he's not political and was beaten by yellow-shirted PAD guards after turning up at the protest simply to get some free food. He was held for days before finally being marched outside. The last thing he remembers is a gunshot, a sound he can't forget. <laughs> The yellow-shirted PAD refused to give us an interview about the incident, but the new foreign minister, who's frequently appeared on the PAD stage, says violence wasn't their aim. I think it, there might be some reaction that might be uncontrollable, but it was not planned, it was not organised, it, it was not supported, I think, by the leadership. Their enemies, the red shirts, also contributed to the feeling of mob rule. This was the scene in the northern city of Chiang Mai. And by night, things got more ugly. A freelance cameraman films as a bullet fizzes past his head. Fired from the direction of the red shirts. And this is the aftermath. Several people injured. One man was also killed here. We have to uh, find out as soon as possible what went wrong. Because that was absolutely wrong. We did not want to send a message that violence is acceptable. We have more than 700 injuries and at least five deaths as a result of violence. None of these have been resolved by police investigation. Thailand may have a new prime minister, but the threat of more mob violence is still very real, with the yellow shirts and the red shirts accusing one another of acting like vigilantes. Dan Rivers, CNN, Bangkok.